One, two, three, four. This is, quite frankly, the most exciting production outboard to ever emerge from the walls of Mercury Racing. performing vessel. As I hope you can tell from that intro that this is going to be one heck of an entertaining episode. In short, Sarah and I in How to Live were fortunate enough to be invited to Mercury Racing's 50th anniversary. It was a three-day event where they unveiled the brand new Mercury Racing V8 500. And for those of you How to Live fans, you guys know that this is not going to be your typical review. This is going to be an adventure review. And what was it like to spend three days in Charleston, South Carolina with some of High Speed Boating's most experienced and knowledgeable leaders? And what was it like to actually sea trial some of these amazing boats? Now this is where I typically say go out to the shed, grab your life jacket, stick it on your wife, sit her on the couch and watch the episode. But this time I'm just going to say thanks guys. Because Sarah and I have been stopped several times by wives that have told us that they're made to watch the episode by their husbands and as a result, they've become fans. So thank you guys so, so much. We love our fans. I assume now you guys do have your life jackets on, so let's get ready to roll. It was a cold, rainy spring day in Maine. Wet and damp. One of those days that made your old, used-up joints ache. It made you shiver as you looked outside. In all reality, it was like most spring days in Maine. A true nasty day that made you yearn for escape from this springtime northeast Alcatraz. Then we got an email about a party in South Carolina. And the plan was pretty simple. Drive to Logan Airport early in the morning and catch a flight to Charleston for this epic 50th anniversary celebration with Mercury Racing. And if you haven't been there, Charleston, South Carolina is actually one of the coolest towns on the East Coast. Well, at least in my opinion. All right, you guys, here we are. Not sure if that's gonna change. Honey, where are we going? Charleston, South Carolina. Kind of a big deal. We were invited, we're very honored to go and be a part of this half a century celebration where they're going to announce something very, very cool. To give you guys a hint, it starts with a five and then there's another zero and then there's another zero after that. So I didn't say it. We're in Charleston, we just came from the airport, but what? Of the Hotel Bennett. Probably got some pretty good history in this hotel. Bennett, Hotel Bennett, cool. That's the elevator. Hey, Lord. Going down. It was a formal dress gala being held the night that we arrived. So before we knew it, it was time to get dressed and look good. And obviously something far easier for my wife to achieve. Now it was time to wine, dine, and act refined. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from. Catch me howling at the moon. 
And speaking of the future, this would not be a true Mercury Racing celebration without bringing a little something extra to the party. And in this case, that something extra is the new benchmark for outboard power density and technology. The new flagship in the Mercury Racing outboard product line. I'm beyond excited to announce the latest model in our lineup of R series outboards, the V8 supercharged 500R. We didn't raise it for. And just like that, there she is. The new Mercury Racing 500R V8. 726 pounds of supercharged V8, a redesigned lower with inch and a half prop shafts and one inch down shaft with an all new low inertia flywheel. It also has new internal components to include a redesigned crankshaft with upgraded one inch drive shaft splines, upgraded connecting rods, rod bearings and pistons. All of these are designed to withstand the 50 more horsepower and 10% more torque than the 450R. The 500 also comes with a 15% increase on throttle body size to allow the increased airflow needed for the 500 horsepower. Now here's the kicker. All this is done still on 89 octane. In a 726 pound outboard engine, this is absolutely mind blowing. While the gala and the unveiling were absolutely incredible, but for us it was an early night because we knew the next day it was time for sea trials. And this being an adventure review and not being all about outboards, and me being kind of a foodie, I'd like to say that Charleston is an incredible city if you like good food. And it has a ton of coffee shops, and Sarah was the first to sniff them out. Espresso, but it's triple shy. I don't sweeten it. Y'all getting slapped on because you're sleeping in. All right, she's going to get the coffee. She's going to get the food. And one of the cool things about what we're doing right now is we're actually going to go to a marina where Mercury Racing has set up the new 500 on a bunch of different boats, and we get to be the first in the world to actually test the new 500. Yeah. On different boats, and pontoon boats, to cats, to oh. center consoles. Look where we are. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. And after a five minute limo bus ride, courtesy of Mercury Racing, we were there. Let's go, you guys. Let's find out what these 500s can do. Are you want a mic check? Mic check, one, two. Testies, check testies. Test, 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 check your testies. Check your titties. Check your titties. But not before we stop off and get some courtesy Maui Gym glasses. Hmm. Now this is turning out to be a pretty special event. Excellent job, MR. All right, so we like to see if We'd like to see if our name is in there. Is our name in there? Mike and Sarah Howe. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I gotta say, <laughs> that was cool. That was a nice touch, right? I mean, when you put on events, you really wanna make people feel special. And uh, I gotta say that you do, you definitely feel special when you walk up to a table of Maui Gyms, which in my opinion are some of the nicest glasses on earth and I have them personally. And, it's, and you get to choose as a gift up for glasses and a nice little mercury bag. That's class, man. That is class. The acceleration is just incredible. Like, we're going 60, and Sean's punching it, and it'll throw you back. You know, boat's running great. I see the current and the wind's almost perfect today. For this. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's pushing us into the docks quite a bit right now, so we're taking it easy on our way in. Awesome. Yep. And you, you trust your captain? He's Oh yeah, Sean he's, he's doing a great job today. You know, we got a Brady system. He hooked me up with the best equipment. Bow and th stern thrusters, you know, five engines, five 500s, we're good. Yeah. You're kind of setting yourself up here, leaving oh, the dog no, here. Don't video any of this. <laughs> and before you knew it, it was our turn to do a sea trial on the MTI 50V. Now this thing is a really badass boat with Quint 450s. I can just imagine what it's going to do with Quint 500s. I feel like I'm in the 80s with a little, what do they call these things? Fanny pack. Is this, is this a, is this a fanny, does it double as a fanny pack? Yes. One, two, three, four. Five. 
five five hundreds. So welcome to the uh, 50V MTI Quint 500s. We're gonna go out and do some cruising, try some tight turns, give you guys a little explanation of the whole design, how it kind of handles, and show you how easily maneuverable this vessel is. How's everybody doing today? Great. We having a good time? I don't know. Dude, are you gonna give us like a historical tour too? Can you be like this building? I could, I mean, we could go back to the Stone Age if you want to. I, I'm, you know. It's all up here? Yeah. It's all locked up? It's all my brain. If you talk to Randy, he'd tell you less. <laughs> Will there be a quiz at the end? Oh God. I'm not studying for any quiz. Oh, that's funny as shit. Okay, so what we've got here is probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve people, 12 people. 50 foot MPI V Quint fives. Pretty fucking cool. Extremely cool. Two, 200 gallons of fuel, 30 gallons of water. So we're pretty loaded down. So that's crazy. You guys ready? He's not playing. All right, hold on. Hold on, everybody. performing vessel and there you guys have it Can you ready? the evolution of power boating the evolution of of high performance lightweight engines it's amazing so many people look at our cat and they go why don't you have the 600s on the cat they don't realize that half of it's about the weight it's about the power to weight ratio these are 500 horsepower and about two-thirds or maybe half the weight of a 600 oh, yeah. v12 so when you're talking about real performance, it matters. Look at all these happy people. They're gonna go take a nap now. <laughs> just too much adrenaline. <laughs> when you think about it, we just took 12 people, 12 people, almost 90 miles an hour in a 50 foot 
offshore vessel. And it handled it like nothing. Yeah. Turned on a dime. Well, that MTI 50V Quint 500 was simply astonishing. But you guys know that watch the channel, that's not quite our speed. We like a little bit faster. We love our 440. And I'm dying to see how these 500s do on a 440X. Tom, it made it look easy, man. Now we might know somebody at MTI and we were able to get the best demo of the day. And that was headed back to the boat launch because it allowed us a nice 40 mile sea trial through some of the coolest country of South Carolina. It's the tough crowd, right? <laughs> it's kind of good though. All experts. Yeah, every, dude, everybody's an expert. If you've ever owned a boat and brought it into a public pier or boat launch just once, you'll know what we're talking about. Everybody's an expert. Well, you find the same thing online. You just learn to live with it. And just move on. So we are fortunate enough to be driving a 440 right now with the brand new 500 R's, which is the V8 supercharged, 27 more percent boost than the 450. Yeah. Well, originally we built this hall with intentions of a bigger power plant. So we've been actually waiting for this moment. I kind of want to let you see what you think of it when you take off, but I think you're going to notice there, it, the slip is ultra low when you go to take off. You don't have to baby it. Uh, the stability from the bigger gear cases, and it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. Yeah. It's so, and you have a higher RPM, obviously, you're going from 6,400 to 66. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're excited. It's exactly what we needed for this boat. So a lot of people might be like, okay, well, 200 RPM, who cares? Like, as far as the max RPM goes. But in a boat like this, that really matters because that gives you one more prop size down yep. that you can go so you get better out of the hole, like a low gear hole shot, yet you still get two more 100 RPM out of the, the top end. Sarah, are you excited about the, the new motors and doing the endurance run? <laughs> I'm very excited Good. about it. Good. How do you keep up with this guy? Um, a lot. A lot of coffee. He's something else. <laughs> Tell me about the Miami, the endurance run that you're going to run. You're eating breakfast in New York, right? We're going to have dinner in Miami. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So how long, what are we thinking hours wise? How long do you think the trip's going to take? I think we're aiming for 16. And this is all out in the ocean 19. or are you going down intercoastal? No, nope, we're all out in the ocean. We're going to stay offshore. Not too far offshore, but we're going to be offshore. That's nice. So you have all your fuel stops, everything planned? We got we got things planned. We have contingencies planned. We're going to have a truck and trailer follow us, kind of shadow us. So do I need and to the... shut my phone off that week so Mike doesn't bother me? Oh, I thought you were driving the truck. So everybody knows about haul over inlet, government cut, and some of these Juniper and Jupiter and all these big cuts down in Florida where your outgoing current meets an easterly wind and it stacks the wave up. We call them standing waves or stacking mm -hmm. the waves, right? And it's so important with a cat that's got a lower bow to be able to have some snap. So when you go up and you give it a little bit, you're able to leverage the bow up a little and right. not pierce. Yep. And that's what I'm excited for as well because you want to be able to have a little more control. Yep. Randy's always talking about down pitching for control over the ocean. Oh yeah. To him, top speed's not important. It's all your whatever your mid-range is and, yep. and he'll run a low set of uh, low pitch prop just to... Just to have fun. At, you know, it's fun, yeah. yeah. It makes it super sporty. And I think the, the 500s, especially for you, if you're going to do the endurance runs and things like that, now you have a beefier gear case. Now you have a beefier prop. You guys ready to bring this son of a bitch to the boat launch? Let's do it. Let's get it out of the water. I'm tired. Fifteen and five eighths diameter prop is really what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. So we're going 30 miles an hour. I know my 440 with 450 already planed out. Already planed out. And right now. I would be it's slipping. Up, isn't it? I would yeah. be slipping. Yeah. That's one of the biggest things that I saw. Awesome. You don't have to baby it to get on plane, it just goes. Yeah. And that was at 22 percent on trip. Yeah. Yeah, I've been running up all day to tr try to see uh, you know really what you can take off at. I had eight people, eight big guys in it, and uh, no problems at all. So that's one thing I'll say about the, the new lower units and the, and the horsepower. Yeah, I can already tell. Feels good, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, she feels planted. The boat is big. Yeah. You notice how the tug goes pulling back on him? Keeping his SM straight in the wind. That's cool. My driver said there's a, a, a bass boat tournament getting ready to put it in the ramp. Hey, do you want to 
want to come back to the boat launch. What the fuck, Tom? Where are we going? I think we're halfway back to St. Louis. Three hours later. Yeah. What are we in the Everglades? It looks like it. Pulling up now, back to trailer in. Hey, Tom's like, hey, come on back to the boat launch. Give it a shot. <laughs> hey, it's only like 50 miles. It's only like 18 miles up the river. <laughs> 150 miles later in three different states. I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck out of the way here. I feel like- I feel a little out of place. I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't think this is our bar. No, I don't think we're supposed to be here. I don't think anybody's looking at us though. No, we fit no, right in. Nobody's staring at us at all. We've ended up in the middle. I'm not talking the edges, the middle of a pretty large bass tournament. Yep. I had to turn the wheel, it's annoying. I was just trying to show you something a little bit different today. Just a little bit different. So this is one of the, one of the I guess, cruelest tricks that you can do on a boating buddy with a performance boat. Tom, did you, uh, did you look at these props? Oh, they dinged up? Dude. Holy shit. What did we hit? Honestly, I love that clip because it shows just what that event was like and the relationships that surround it. Thank you, Mercury Racing, for inviting How to Live. We had an absolute blast, and it was our pleasure to review and cover the new 500R, which is 100% going to be a massive game changer for the industry. I have two 450s with 70 hours on them for sale. In fact, we will be doing the New York City to Miami record-breaking attempt with 500s. That's how much we love them. And if you guys just watching don't know what we're talking about, my wife and I plan to simply have breakfast in New York City, have dinner in Miami all on the same day by boat. We're not sure if it's possible, but we're gonna document the trip for all of our multimedia channels. By the way, you might wanna to subscribe to all three of those because we offer different content for each one of those platforms. So stay tuned because it's gonna be a really exciting summer. Boat safe, boat happy, over and out.